this video, I'm going to answer a common question I get about pregen and the number of calories it provides per serving. All the confusion around how many calories started when I launched Gym Supplement Science 2.0 last year. Now, my original pregym listed only around 15 calories per serving of pregym. However, pregym 2.0 now provides around 80 85 calories per serving. So many Gym Army members want to know what changed in the formula to increase the number of calories. Nothing changed in the formula of pregym, guys, to change the number of calories. It comes down to new regulations and how the FDA wants supplement manufacturers to list calories on their supplement facts panel. Now, prior to these new regulations, you didn't have to list the calories from ingredients like citrulline, taurine, beta alanine, creatine, even the branch chain amino acids. Now, there's still much confusion over how supplement manufacturers like myself are supposed to list calories uh, for uh, these ingredients, which really don't provide a true uh, caloric source in the body. For example, beta alanine is not what's known as a proteinogenic amino acid, meaning it's not an amino acid that goes into building protein. It's an amino acid that serves a function in the body. Therefore, it's not metabolized the same way that, say, uh, leucine is, and therefore really doesn't provide any calories. Same thing for taurine, uh, citrulline, even creatine. Now, I'll agree, you should list essential amino acids and the other proteinogenic amino acids like leucine, isoleucine, valine, the branch chain amino acids, and a few others if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty of providing calories on a supplement facts panel. But I disagree uh, with listing calories for citrulline, beta alanine, creatine. It's absolutely ridiculous. However, being the guy in the supplement industry that's waving the flag for complete transparency and doing things proper, I'm going to list the calories out uh, the way that the uh, FDA is currently asking. So, the new label of pre-gym 2.0 lists around 80 calories per serving. Nothing has changed. It comes down simply to new label regulations. You'll see the same on post-gym and you'll even see label changes on Vitagym due to these new regulations. But this is due to changes in the units of certain ingredients like vitamin A, vitamin E, for example. So you can relax, guys. Pre-gym, it's the same number of calories that it's always been. All it comes down to is new and silly regulations that I disagree with, but I'm following through. So don't worry guys, it's not really providing you 80 calories per serving, but I have to list it out. So to answer the next question that's gonna follow, how do I mark down the calories and the macros uh, from my pre-gym? Don't guys, don't even worry about it. Like I said, most of the ingredients in here, aside from a couple grams of dextrose for flavoring mainly, aren't gonna provide any true calories. They're gonna be utilized by the body to perform specific functions. So you don't have to include calories and macros from pre-gym and post-gym active matrix. The post-gym fast digesting carb, yes, you have to include that towards your macros and towards your calories. And the same with pro-gym. Hope that cleared up everyone's questions about how many calories are in pre-gym. Keep those questions coming, guys. And as always, stay gym army strong.